Okay, hey guys, this is Josh here. Uh, so this is going to be the part two of the biochemical tests, and let's uh, jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to talk about here today is the bioesculin tube. So the purpose of this test is to differenti differentiate microorganisms based on their ability to hydrolyze esculin to esculin and dextrose. The esculin reacts with ferric citrate in the medium to form a dark brown black complex. So if you look here, uh, this would be a positive result, which is the blackening of the tube. And then you have your control, which is little to no blackening. You can read the results right here. The next thing we have is going to be a catalase test. So a catalase test is very important for the initial um, differentiation of your organism if you do have an unknown. So, like I said, the purpose is to differentiate where microorganisms based on their ability to produce the catalase enzyme. Catalase breaks down um, hydrogen peroxide to water and oxygen, but you have to be um, very cautious, though, because too much hydrogen peroxide will water down the reaction and give a false negative result. So if you look on the right here, it says bubbles. It's going to be positive, so this is going to be the positive result. And then the negative result is going to be no bubbles. Pretty simple, easy test. So the next test is going to be coagulase. And the purpose of this is going to be to detect uh, detection of coagulase that is excreted by Staphylococcus aureus that causes fibrin uh, clots formation. And um, a procedure here would be inoculate a loop full of organism into a coagulase uh, tube. And then you would incubate this tube for um, 24 hours at 37 degrees Celsius. So fairly, fairly warm, you know, very close to human body temperature. But if you look here, the positive is going to be, um, you're going to see this little formation right here, this clot formation. And then the negative is clearly, you do not see anything. So no clot formation. The next here is going to be a KOH test. So the purpose of this test is to confirm gram stains based on whether a 3% KOH can lyse bacterial cell walls and release DNA. And the procedure here would, you would just use a loop uh, to transfer one to maybe three colonies from a TSA plate uh, to one end of a microscope slide. So let's see if I can get my pointer up. So like right here is what they have. Um, and then you're gonna add one drop of the 3% KOH and then um, what we're going to do is using a loop, drag the KOH and bacteria kind of together and then mix for five to 10 seconds. So you're going to like come in from this end, come in from this end and then meet in the middle and then slowly lift the loop to visualize the presence or absence of DNA strings. So a positive is, um, or you don't really have a positive negative here, but you do have the ability to see whether the organism is gram positive or gram negative and uh, strings present gram negative strings absent gram positive and i want to keep this video very short so this is going to be the last uh, test that i'm going to be showing is this is going to be the oxidase test and the purpose of this test it's, is to differentiate or microorganisms based on the presence of their enzyme cytochrome co, co oxidase and bacteria so the procedure here would be you would use a swab to remove um, a moderate amount of inoculum from a plate and then um, you would basically drip two to three drops of the oxidase reagent and onto the inoculum covered, sw inoculum covered swab. And so if you look here, the blue was obviously the positive and then your control or negative would be um, you wouldn't see anything. But you have to be careful here because... Um, it can also give false positives if um, if air is allowed to get to it longer than 30 seconds. Okay, thanks guys for watching and I uh, appreciate it.